Hello guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. Today I am doing top 10 trends of the moment. Usually when I do trends videos, they're kind of like trend forecasting almost, not really. I'm not that talented, but you know what I mean. I do it at the beginning of the year and it's looking at what's to come for 2017. But I thought it would be fun just to do a little updated version. We're almost in the middle of the year, which is kind of scary, but just to chat about what people are actually wearing right now, what we're seeing all over Instagram, on bloggers, celebrities, all that sort of jazz. Let me know what you guys think of this top 10 sort of concept. I know they're super popular on YouTube. I watch a lot of them. So I was thinking about putting my own spin on it and introducing it into my channel as well. So yeah, I was thinking like top 10 fashion icons of certain decades, top 10 costume designs, that sort of thing. Let me know if you'd be interested and if so, which categories. I thought we'd jump straight in with gingham because obviously this is everywhere. So you're probably borderline almost sick of it, but you kind of can't be sick of it because it's such a cute print. I love that we're starting to see people get more creative with gingham as well by mixing and matching different sizes of the print and also the print in different colors. Plus we're seeing it on all different sort of items now rather than just the dress, which is kind of still my personal favorite, but we can see it on shoes, bags, you name it, gingham is in that style. Obviously you guys have seen me in the tinted sunglasses trend a lot recently, and I feel like this has been hanging around since late last year, but it's really picking up speed now, which personally I prefer it a lot more than the mirrored reflective sunglasses that were massive in 2016. Yellow is definitely most popular when it comes to this trend and also my personal favorite. I wasn't expecting the dress over trousers trend to come back in such a big way, but it's totally having a moment currently and it's not for everyone. I definitely shied away from it for quite a while, but just over the last few weeks, I've really opened up to the idea and it is so much fun to try out. If you are into the more quirky way of dressing that trend, then check out Korean street style for some inspiration. And if you're into the more chic blogger look, then Chriselle Lim definitely has your back. I really wanted to include the it color of the moment, if you will, but a few pop to mind. So I think you can take your pick of either pink, red, or yellow, or better yet, just mash all three together and come up with some sort of styling genius because trust me, it can work. I know red and yellow feels a little bit McDonald's, Ronald McDonald-esque, but it can look really cute if done right. But of course, a monochromatic head-to-toe pink look can be bomb as well, especially if you're taking inspiration from the next trend, which is of course taking inspiration from the early 2000s, especially that ultra tacky Paris Hilton sort of look. I think one of the main parts that are really coming back from that era is the brand names. Juicy Couture is having a major comeback and who would have thought that that would happen in 2017. So I'm really loving that trend because it is so much fun to play around with. Pulling things back a bit, we have the classic white button up shirt. This is everywhere at the moment. I went to the shops the other night and literally every store I walked into had their own version of the white button up shirt. Some are still sticking more traditional, which is great because you can style it any way you want, whether you want it to wear to work or on the weekend, you can really play around with some interesting new styling ideas. Otherwise, a lot of retailers are also doing their own redone version of the white shirt, which is including all sorts of bells and whistles. So definitely one that is very easily accessible and can be worked into just about anyone's wardrobe. In the last couple of seasons, we've seen designers shine a major spotlight on the 80s. And I think that for the most part, the general public is a little bit skeptical on it. It's definitely a lot more bold than some of the other decades we've been taking inspiration from lately. But one trend I can definitely get on board with is the PVC vinyl look. My favorite ways to incorporate this one is definitely through either a mini skirt, a pair of trousers, or even a long line coat can be a real standout piece. The shoe trend that just will not die is mules. Personally, I'm still loving it. It is like a lazy girl's best friend because you can just slip those bad boys on and get out the door. I love that they come in flats, 
small block heels and then super high stilettos as well so there's something for everyone. My personal favourite is definitely the 90s mum style though. I wear my black ones like that all the time and recently added these red faux suede ones to the collection too. I feel like ruffles are always in to a certain extent, but at the moment they are bigger and bolder than ever before. You can seriously find them on practically any garment of clothing, whether it's on the ends of your jeans, on long sleeve shirts, dresses, mini skirts, bando tops, you name it, they've put a ruffle on it. One of my favorite styles though is just the tiered ruffle sleeves. I think this is a really nice elevation on the extra long sleeve trend that we saw last year. So this is the one I will be rocking most. So I believe that brings us to lucky number 10, which is a little bit of a wild card with the cowboy Western sort of theme. I think we will see a little bit of this in the inspiration for everyday dressing, but you can mostly look out for this during festival season. We are already seeing cowboy hats galore at festivals. So any of you guys who are in the warmer weather coming up into some festivals, definitely look out for a unique cowboy hat. At the moment, I only have a plain black one, but I do have a pink sequin number coming in the mail that I am very, very excited about. So those are just 10 trends that have caught my eye recently. Obviously there is a lot more out there, so I'd love to to hear from you in the comments on which ones are your favorite whether I mentioned them in today's video or not if you did enjoy the video though please remember to give it a big thumbs up to help me out and I guess I will just see you guys in the next one thanks for watching Mwah.